The strawberry blonde bombshell, Anne Margaret Olsen, was born on April 28, 1941, in Valsjoben, Sweden. She is a Swedish-American actress and singer, whose career spans six decades. As of mid-2022, she has appeared in 87 movies and TV shows. According to IMDb, out of the 44 awards she was nominated for, she won 17 of them, including five Golden Globe Awards. Although she was nominated twice for an Academy Award, she, unfortunately, has not won an Oscar. She is best known for her roles in, State Fair, 1962, Bye Bye Birdie, 1963, Viva Las Vegas, 1964, The Cincinnati Kid, 1965, and, Carnal Knowledge, 1971. Unlike other famous actresses, Miss Olsen was only married once, and that was to American actor, producer and screenwriter, Roger Laverne Smith. They were married from 1967, till his death in 2017. Anne Margaret Olsen was born in Valsjoben, Sweden, and is the daughter of Anna Regina, and Carl Gustav Olsen. Her father used to work in the US, during his youth, and went there again in 1942. Anne Margaret and her mother joined him in the US, in 1946. They first lived in Ohio, and then moved to Illinois. In 1949, she became a naturalized citizen of the US. She started taking dance lessons, at the Marjorie Young School of Dance, in Columbus, Ohio, where she showed her natural ability for the art form. Her parents were supportive of her creative pursuits, and her mother made all of her costumes, by hand. After her father suffered a serious injury, her mother started working as a funeral parlor receptionist. During this time, young Anne Margaret started taking up acting gigs, in order to contribute to the family income. In 1959, she enrolled in Northwestern University. However, she left the university, without completing her education. Anne Margaret began her career, as a part of a musical group, named Subtle Tones, and first performed at the Mist Nightclub, in Chicago. She then went on to perform in several places, across the country. In 1961, she began recording for RCA Victor. Her first song was Lost Love, from her debut album. And here she is, Anne Margaret. The other albums she released, during her musical career, include, Bachelor's Paradise, in 1963, Beauty and the Beard, in 1964, The Cowboy and the Lady, in 1969, God is Love, The Gospel Sessions, in 2001, Today, Tomorrow and Forever, Box Set, in 2002, Anne Margaret's Christmas Carol Collection, in 2004, and, God is Love, The Gospel Sessions 2, in 2011. Her 2001 album, God is Love, The Gospel Sessions had earned a nomination for a Grammy Award. In 1961, Anne Margaret signed a seven-year contract with 20th Century Fox. That same year, she made her film debut, in the comedy film, Pocketful of Miracles. The film did not do well commercially, but it won multiple awards and nominations. For her role in the film, Anne Margaret won the Golden Globe Award, for Most Promising Female Newcomer. In the 1962 remake of Rodgers and Hammerstein's musical, State Fair, Anne Margaret played the bad girl role of Emily. She exhibited two sides of her real-life personality. Off stage, she was shy and reserved, but on stage, she was wildly exuberant and sensuous. In her autobiography, Anne Margaret wrote, that she changed, from Little Miss Lollipop, to Sex Spot Banshee, once the music began. Her next starring role, was in 1963 musical romantic comedy, Bye Bye Birdie, where she played as an all-American teenager from Ohio. For this film, she had her hair dyed red. She loved it so much, that she continued having her hair dyed red in color. This role made her a major star. She was nominated for another Golden Globe Award, in the Best Actress, Musical or Comedy, category, for her role in the film. Also in 1963, Anne Margaret Guest starred in an episode of the popular animated TV series, The Flintstones, voicing the character, Anne Margrock, an animated version of herself. Anne Margaret met Elvis Presley on the MGM soundstage, when the two filmed the 1964 musical, Viva Las Vegas. She recorded three duets with Presley for the film, but only one of them, 
The Lady Loves Me, made it into the final film. Elvis and Anne Margaret started an affair, that almost wrecked Elvis's engagement, and subsequent marriage, to Priscilla Beaulieu. Although they eventually did end their affair, both Elvis and Anne Margaret remained close friends, till his unfortunate death in 1977. She starred in the 1964 crime drama film, Kitten with a Whip. She also co-starred in the 1965 movie, Once a Thief, which is also a crime drama film, and where she met her future husband Roger Smith. Over the next few years, she continued to appear in several films, such as, The Cincinnati Kid, 1965, Stagecoach, 1966, Murderer's Row, 1966, and, The Tiger and the Pussycat, 1967. Throughout the 1970s, Anne Margaret balanced her live musical performances, with a string of dramatic film roles. In 1971, she starred in the erotic coming-of-age romantic comedy drama film, Carnal Knowledge, which won her a second Golden Globe Award in the Best Supporting Actress category. On Sunday, September 10, 1972, while performing, at a concert, at Lake Tahoe, Nevada, Anne Margaret fell seven meters from an elevated platform to the stage, and suffered injuries, including a broken left arm, cheekbone, and jawbone. She was flown to Los Angeles, to have meticulous facial reconstructive surgery done, that required wiring her mouth shut, and putting her on a liquid diet. She was unable to work for 10 weeks. In 1973, she co-starred in the western film, The Train Robbers, in which she was noticeably thinner. In 1975, she appeared in the Who's, rock opera, musical film, Tommy, for which she earned her second Oscar nomination, in the Best Actress, category. She also won her third Golden Globe Award, for, Best Actress. On August 17, 1977, Anne Margaret and Roger Smith, traveled to Memphis, to attend Elvis Presley's funeral. In 1983, she starred in the biographical TV film, Who Will Love My Children?, which was based on the life of a cancer patient, named Lucille Frey, portrayed by Anne Margaret. She won her fourth Golden Globe for her performance, and she also got an Emmy nomination. She appeared in the 1984 TV film, A Streetcar Named Desire, for which she once again won the Golden Globe, and got an Emmy nomination. She co-starred in the 1986 crime thriller movie, 52 Pickup. Anne Margaret appeared in the 1993 romantic comedy film, Grumpy Old Men, as well as its sequel, Grumpier Old Men, in 1995. In the ensuing years, she continued appearing in several TV films and shows, as well as some movies. The sultry strawberry blonde, sparkling green-eyed, vibrant contralto singing voiced, Anne Margaret has had a long career, in film, television and music, which spans six decades. She received a star, on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, in 1973, for her contributions to the film industry. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this video informative, and, entertaining. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment. We do like to know, and, hear your feedback. We also have merchandise, available for purchase, on our Teespring store. Link to our store, is in the description section below. And, if you have the means, please consider supporting us on Patreon, where we post bonus material. Till next time, this is the Peeping Looney, saying cheers, and, have a good day.